In this video, I'm going to reveal you the places you're gonna hit the most if you travel or live on a budget in New York City. Hey everyone, I'm Mary Jane. If you're here, it's because you're planning to visit in the Big Apple, or maybe you just moved there and you just realize you don't have enough money to just go into any restaurant that attracts your attention for lunch every single day. I already made a video with my top 10 places where you can eat for $5 or less in Manhattan, and you can find the link at the end of this video or in the description. The purpose of this video, on the contrary, is not to give you specific places, because sometimes you don't want to walk those extra blocks if you are in a rush and you want something cheap for lunch, but I'm going to illustrate you those eight categories of places that you're going to inevitably reach out whenever you want an affordable snack or meal. You can find these places all over the city, more or less wherever you are in that moment, except the first one, the reason why you're going to discover in two seconds. First category has to be Chinatown food. Chinatown is the paradise of cheap food, for sure. It's the only place in New York where wherever you're gonna enter in any restaurant, you're gonna be able to have a complete meal for probably $10 or something like that. So if you live in Chinatown, you are lucky. And if you don't, I recommend you to just keep in mind that Chinatown is the place to go to have a complete meal for cheap. So those days when you really want to have some comfort food, you're very hungry, I think it's worth to spend a subway ride to Chinatown just to have a lunch or a dinner there. Second category, of course, the dollar slice pizza places. I mention this one in every video that I make either about food in New York or about living slash traveling on a budget in New York because I think it's a great resource of the city. And yes, of course, having lunch every day with two slices of cheese pizza from the dollar pizza place, it's not a healthy thing to do, we do agree on that. But you know what? If you pay a little bit of attention and the same day when you had lunch with two slices of pizza, then in the evening, you're gonna make the effort to have a complete and balanced meal. There's nothing bad about having a couple of meals a week in a dollar pizza place. Think about that. Let's say that you have two meals a week in a dollar pizza place instead of having them in a place where you would spend $15, which means that you're gonna spend only $4 instead of 30. So you have saved every week $26. That's not bad at all. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth to make the effort to eat healthier in some other meals during the week. And also, come on, it's some comfort food. Everyone loves pizza. Third, taco carts. Speaking of healthy snacks, well, Americans should thank the Mexicans to have brought to the country something so easy to make, so available everywhere, and so healthy as well. Of course, not all tacos are healthy, but if you just pay a little bit of attention in the ingredients you ask to put in your taco, that can make of a very cheap and healthy meal as well. The tortilla of the taco provides the grains, and then if you just put a little bit of meat and a lot of vegetables, or even better, some beans and vegetables, and you don't put too many sauces, you're gonna have your healthy balanced meal with a couple of tacos. And you can find taco carts more or less everywhere in the city. Fourth, of course, I had to mention hot dog carts because they are simply everywhere in the city, so much that they became almost a symbol of New York itself. And of course, we can consider them completely garbage food, but I'll tell you what, if you are in Midtown, for example, which is the neighborhood with the most expensive restaurants in the city, and you feel hungry, maybe you're in a rush, you don't have time to find a restaurant or a fast food place that it's not gonna rip you off, then, just grab a $2 hot dog from a cart, why not? It's a quick and cheap snack, just don't overdo it. And maybe put some sauerkraut on it, it's gonna balance it off a little bit. For the fifth category, we are gonna go back to Chinese food, and we're gonna talk about dumpling houses. If earlier I was talking about Chinese restaurants in general, and especially the ones in Chinatown, because they are the cheapest ones, now I'm talking about dumpling houses. Because, fortunately, you can find dumpling places more or less everywhere in the city. Chinese dumplings make a very tasty meal, 
and they are certainly one of the cheapest things that you can get in the city. Get them with pork, get them vegetarian, whatever you want. Maybe pair them with some pancake scallions for one or two dollars. And there you have it, a full meal for a few bucks. The sixth category is gonna be the grocery stores. And I'm talking about both the grocery store itself and the deli section inside the store. The first store I want to talk to you about is my most recent discovery and I'm very happy that I made it because I think it's a great choice for lunch. I'm talking about a small chain of Japanese grocery stores that is called Sunrise Mart. They have four locations in Manhattan located in different neighborhoods to be honest, I know only two spots, the one in this village and the one on 40 seconds, especially. That is the most important one. And I must say their daily section is incredible. They have so much choice, but especially the quality is pretty high for a grocery store and the prices are incredibly cheap. When I go there, I usually get some rolls with raw fish and for six rolls I usually pay four dollars but you have so much choice of vegetables, fish, full meals in a plate, in a box, lunch boxes, cakes for dessert and many other things. The quality and freshness of the ingredients for me are guaranteed not only by the fact that I tried them personally and directly, but also by the fact that every time I go there, there are so many customers and so many regulars going there for lunch. If we are not talking about the very big chain that makes a lot of marketing, that for me is the best sign of the quality of a place. Second grocery store is a way bigger chain and is very well known, especially in New York, and it's Trader Joe's. I'm personally not a big fan of this supermarket because it's not good for the grocery section, but it's very good for the deli section. In fact, they have always a lot of different kinds of salads that are already pre-packed. So if you are on the go, you want something lighter or you want a full meal because the salads can have meat or fish inside you can just go grab a plastic box and you're good to go and the third grocery store i would like to suggest to you is a very unknown one in fact i haven't met any person yet who knows about this grocery store and it's called brooklyn fair and to be honest they have i think two stores in downtown Brooklyn and only one in Manhattan and this one is exactly in the West Village very close to the Hudson River and curiosity is that this is the very first grocery store I've ever entered in New York so the very first days I was in New York City for my first time I went there and I was surprised to see that the prices were not so high and they had very good deals on some products whereas unfortunately in the next days I went to some other grocery stores more average and I discovered that grocery stores are insanely expensive in New York I don't know why this place is not well known probably because they don't have they are not so big and they don't have much budget for marketing I guess but I really suggest you if you are in the area to go there and try it out because for snacks crackers and just grab whatever for lunch they have good prices and good quality too seventh category I have to put it there, but I really don't like it. And it's the American fast food. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about those huge chains of burgers for super cheap. I'm never going to encourage anyone to go to a place where the meat is produced in such a massified manner and it's so cheap as well. But there are cheap places, so they are in the list. Eighth and last is the happy hour. If you're not familiar with this expression, happy hour means that in New York every bar or restaurant decides some hours of the day where they have less customers. Usually it's around late afternoon till 6 or 8 or 9 in the evening and they offer all the drinks for half price or they offer discounts on the drinks and they usually also give some food for free. So if one day you have already planned to go grab a drink with some of your friends, why not make a quick research on Google to know where a happy hour place is 
and try it out you're gonna get your drink anyways and you're gonna save on that and probably you're gonna get food as well to know which places offer what and what are the exact times you just have to google do a simple google research and if you want to get an idea i will leave you a link down below with a list of happy hour places in manhattan if you haven't yet, you have to check out my New York City on a Budget Travel Guide, where in 15 minutes I give you all the essential information you need to know to visit the Big Apple without breaking the bank. Also, if you click on this video, you don't want to miss on the other two videos that I made about cheap food in New York. In one, I show you my top 10 places where to eat with $5 or less in Manhattan. In the other one, I simply show you the eight foods that in the grocery stores in New York are strangely cheap. Subscribe for more content like this and click the bell button to turn on the notifications because I publish videos twice a week. I hope to see you next time. Bye.